Hello, so this is going to be the long requested coronavirus decontamination video. I'm going to try and keep it as short and simple as possible. Uh, this is going to be, I'm not going to use gloves in this video just because it'd be a bit of a pain in the ass to, you know, open up a pair of nitrile gloves to throw them away, but ideally you'd want those. So this is going to be a very simple decontamination video. Some of this would also cover nuclear fallout. Uh, I'm going to go off of what they're currently saying, that you have to get it in via your eyes or your mouth. So if you're in a situation where there'd be nobody sneezing on you, the important bit is not to touch your eyes or your mouth or your nose or anything like that until you've finished sort of decontaminating yourself. So for simplicity reasons, and because it would probably be violating a lot of YouTube guidelines if I properly stripped off in front of the camera, I'm going to be doing this with a very basic sort of dust suit, sort of lowest level protection chemical suit, which is all you'd need. If you're doing it with regular clothes, you'd have to strip a lot of those clothes off as well. But because this goes over your clothes, this makes it a lot easier and sort of safer. So we're going to assume this is the front door. You know, you've just come in and you think, I don't know, somebody might have sneezed on me, I've got this coronavirus stuff on me. Now, obviously, this is going off of a situation where, um, you know, it's getting really bad and it's a pandemic. Obviously, at this stage, I would not be going out dressed like this. Also, if you've got a ceiling light near your door, which you could install a UV light in, that would be even better. So, right, you've got in, and the first thing you'll do is start your initial decontamination. So, what we're going to do is we're going to spray rubbing alcohol all over ourselves. I've got 70% rubbing alcohol in here. I've done in this previous video, so I'm buying this and sort of, you know, using it. So, we're just going to give the suit and the mask a good spray down there. There we go. That's not, I'm not going to go over every single bit of the suit at the moment because obviously this is just for a video. We'll rub rubbing alcohol into the mask and all that to, um, you know, get a load of the vapours off that. I can smell it because this is only a particulate filter, filter. If I had the full vapour on one, I you know, wouldn't be able to. We're going to take the mask off last of all. So we've got some rubbing alcohol, we'll rub our hands together. Uh, this is assuming obviously you've taken the gloves off at this stage. So if you were using disposable gloves, have a bin by the door and just throw them straight into the bin. So what we're going to do first is take all the suit off. Remember, the very important bit is not to um, touch your hands, uh, sorry, not to touch your face with your hands or anything like that. So, let's undo this suit. We need to come off nice and easy because, as I said, they're sort of dust suits designed for this sort of thing. So what you do, you can get these in a variety of colours. You literally just step out of this suit here and because these are like the civilian NBC suits they're much much easier to get in and out of than the military ones. So what you do is you hang this up where your UV light is or by your door ready for the next day if or whatever going out. If you've um, obviously not got UV lighting just give it another spray down completely with like rubbing alcohol or whatever to kill anything on it. So what we do now is, I won't bother doing this and wasting rubbing alcohol on the videos, i probably spray my hands down and give them a clean again. Right, now what we're going to do is take the mask off. And remember, at this point we must not touch our face. Because if there's anything on our hands we don't want to rub it into our eyes or anything like that. So I'm going to put the mask of the suit for now. So what I'm going to do now is obviously spray a bit more rubbing alcohol on my hands. You know, and give that a good rub in and all sorts of stuff like that. Now, here's a very important step. Before we go any further, what we're going to do is go and wash our hands with soapy water and give them a really good thorough wash in the sink. Because that way, you know, you'd know for sure that you've got everything off your hands. We're not just relying on a bit of alcohol. Um, and again, as I said, I'm going off of what the doctors and all that have been saying. That is, um, you know, make sure um, you're not touching your face or your eyes with your hands. That's what, one of the advantages of having a mask on is you can't rub your eyes or do anything like that when you've got um, you know, all that gear on. So what you do is you decontaminate that gear later on using whichever method you want to use. As I said, I'm not going to do a lot of this in the video because it would be absolutely pointless because um, there's nothing on the stuff. Um, I'm also not going to do a hand washing tutorial. I'm sure you can find very good medical style ones on YouTube that show you all how to rub each bit of your hand. But the important bit is you have your hands under running water and soap for quite a while. Um, because that way you're rinsing basically anything off even if the uh, detergent type stuff doesn't kill it. Right, if this is nuclear fallout, it'd be the exact same principle. You'd want to get all that stuff off at the door um, because that way you're not going to take it further into the house or whatever. But the nice thing with nuclear fallout, unlike a virus, is you can get a Geiger counter out and you can start going up and down yourself with a probe to check if there is any contamination. 
um, which is a really nice thing. So I've tried to keep this short and simple. As I said, the main thing is do not touch and rub your eyes and all that until your face, your nose, all stuff like that, until you've made sure you've done that. Keep a mental check on that. You're going to subconsciously be keep rubbing your face anyway, but if you think I just need to not do it until I've got all this gear off and wash my hands really thoroughly, you should be alright. As I said, I'm using 70% rubbing alcohol. Now, let's say you'd got in and you didn't have an NBC suit, dust suit, anything like that, then it becomes more complicated. Because you're pretty much going to have to strip off your, all your clothes and get straight in the shower, I'd imagine. But anyway, this is only if it gets really, really bad, this video. Um, you know, where it's a pandemic and you had to go out for something like to get some emergency food supplies or something. Um, you might also want to follow this video, let's say you have people sick at home um, and you've got a special room for caring for them. You probably want to suit up and suit, you know, off before going into the room each time and just use the door of the room as your little airlock area for almost having a suit. As I said, um, as far as I'm working on a virus, it's not something super, super scary where it's like, you know, free airborne particles so as soon as you take your mask off it's going to get in you. It's from people coughing and sneezing um, and then the spittle carrying the virus is inhaled or, you know, rubbed into your face. Um, also an important thing is until, like I'm doing now, um, until you've got, you know, until you've washed your hands really thoroughly, you don't try and avoid touching as many doorknobs and all things like that as possible because you don't want to um, put something on those and then, you know, touch it again. So I've tried to keep this short and simple. I hope it's not disappointing for anybody that's been waiting like a week for a decontamination video. But as said, UV lighting and everything helps as well. I've got a UVB light in my room at the moment on a lamp um, because it's actually kind of nice because it gives you a little bit of a tan. Don't look directly into it, you know, but it's not like UVC. UVC is better for killing viruses, but it's also very bad for your skin and eyes, so I wouldn't really recommend it for most people. Um, but there you go. Hopefully that's been simple enough. But remember, the main point is take the suit off first, then take the mask off. Give them a spray before you take them off so there's a bit of disinfectant on them. As soon as you've done that stage, you know, alcohol wipe your hands, you might want to do that several times, uh, depending on how you've done gloves or not. If you're using disposable gear, like a disposable N95 mask, even simpler, just bin that as soon as you get in. But before you go and do anything, uh, make sure you wash your hands really, really thoroughly. Uh, that way, you're avoiding, you know, touching your face if there's still anything on your hands. Right, hopefully that's helped. As said, I know a lot of people waiting for this video, so I hope it's not been too disappointing. Um, but... You know, I wanted to keep it simple and straightforward because if I made it like a really, really long military style decontamination video, people would say that's a lot of fucking effort, I'm not going to do that. If you want to watch up further videos on decontamination, there's lots of good ones on YouTube. You can find old civil defence ones to do with nuclear fallout, which go into all the risks of carrying fallout into the house. You can find medical videos on how to wash your hands properly and stuff like that. Might sound silly, but most people just, if they do wash their hands, a lot of people don't because they're completely disgusting after they've gone to the toilet or whatever. Um, if you want to wash your hands properly, you know, you need to be having them under running water for like 30 seconds or something with soap, you know, doing all that. A lot of people just get the tap on and go like that, <laughs> and tap it out, which doesn't really help. So yeah, also use separate towels for each family member, I'd say. Most people do that anyway, I imagine. But if you have just like a little bathroom hand towel, probably not a good idea, because if somebody doesn't wash their hands properly, get some germs on it, you might dry your hands, get those back on there, then, you know, rub them into your face. Anyway, hopefully this video has been helpful, stay safe. Um, but yeah, a lot of people had requested this, so it was one I hadn't really planned on doing, but because a lot of people requested it, sure, there we go.